Welcome to my channel. Hi and welcome back to my channel, Alana by the Shore. I'm going to be doing an Ipsy. Do I want Boxy Charm? <laughs> it's a Boxy Charm unboxing. Boxy Charm unboxing, but it says Ipsy on it. I don't know why. So I got this is my third new box with them, and this one I went all out because. I figured why not. Before we get into that though, almost mid-October and it's not quite freezing and it's not quite hot. It's like then in between. Kind of like a spring day. So I have my hot stuff. I love these little mugs. I got these on from Walmart. I have like a whole bunch of them. They're little espresso mugs. And they all have different sayings on them. I actually have one I should have used today because it was more Halloween themed. It was like, like brew, which is brew or something. Brew, I don't know. This one says hot stuff. It's a little Starbucks espresso, an espresso shot with a little bit of sugar-free pumpkin spice syrup. From Tarani, I think it's called. I always forget the letters confused. So, all right, so let me show you what I got. I'm probably not going to go, I'm not going to do my whole face right now because I'm going to have to take a shower first. So we're going to Daniel's mom's house to celebrate his aunt's birthday. And I'm going to have to take a shower. Then maybe then I'll do my actual makeup. But it came with, holy moly guacamole. Oh, if you haven't already, and I know most of you haven't, yet already subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for i know you haven't because youtube tells me that 90 something percent of you haven't yet subscribed and that tells me that the people that watch most of you have not yet subscribed if you keep coming back why not i don't want to know just do it so, um, subscribe to my channel, which is now Alana by the Shore, because that's where I am, and that's my real name, Alana. Not by the Shore. And like this video if you like it. If you don't like it, you're allowed to like, unlike it, dislike it. I just like people's videos sometimes. <laughs> leave comments. If you don't know what to leave, leave emojis, and or an emoji, whatever you'd like, if it lets you. And share this with everyone you know and comment share subscribe and if you like it enough please just play the whole video watch it watch the whole video we're already like 10 minutes in oh three and a half minutes in so this is the cute book that came or magazine pamphlet whatever they call it i don't know what boxy calls it but it's the october 24 boxy charm that's probably what i'm going to call this video beauty nightmares beauty nightmares get ready something weird this way comes i'm not going to read this entire thing but i'm going to read this part ipsy express your unique beauty and there's different looks that you can try or you don't have to. I think this is really cute and it looks easier to do minus the the liner because I can't do liner for the life of me. I can't. I can't do liner. But I think this is really pretty. She's pretty and I like her makeup look. And then they have this look. I think this is one of the looks that they would consider a look. The resting witch face. And then there's some other looks in here. I think this is really interesting. This next one on here on this page. That's a really, really, really interesting look. Very interesting. It kind of gives me... It's in the tip of my tongue. If I remember, I'll put it in the video later. It's in the tip of my tongue. Um, steampunk. It's very steampunk. I don't have to leave anything to there. I remember. Kind of like gives me a steampunk look. Beauty Nightmares. That's cool. And then there's uh, like other things in here. 
If you have it, you'll know. And I got a number of items this time, extras. But the good thing is, and one of the reasons that, one of the major reasons I would say that influenced me to get all this extra stuff is you get like special deals on stuff. So you get like a discounted rate on whatever it may be on the um, other products, the add-ons. So you're not paying full price for them. And so this is my box. If you haven't already seen my reels and my TikToks and stuff, this is what I got. And there's most most of the brands in here I've never heard of. But um, one of the items in here, some of them I have, but most of them I haven't, I would say. This one right here I've used before and I love. And one of you commented on my short on this from last night, excuse me, and this is from Laneige. It's the Waterbank Blue Hyaluronic Serum. I'm actually out of the moisturizer. I have to get a new one. one. Fortunately, the Kohl's across my street finally have like a small pop-up version of the Sephora. So it's very limited, but they do have Laneige, thankfully. So it'll be the first time I buy anything Laneige from them, but I'm, I'm gonna go sooner or later because I need the moisturizer and that moisturizer. But I got the serum. I, I think this was an add-on. I don't remember though, to be honest with you, but it's their serum and it works so well. It says water bank blue hyaluronic serum, visibly firm, improve electricity. And it's a full size. I, the first time I tried this, I had like the travel size, I think it was, but this is the full size. Oh, you open it differently. Uh, Oh, yeah, the one that I had was not like this. Well, that's interesting. What does this say? Once the hole on the back turns red, get ready for our new bottle serum. I will. So, I don't know if you can see this, that hole. This one right here. When that turns red, this one here turns red, you know it's time to get a new one. And that's very technological. On top, it tells you... See that open, open, and go like this, and then you squeeze it. I'm not gonna. I don't want to waste this, but you squeeze this, you push it down, and it's supposed to come out. Very interesting packaging. It's really cool. If you, I mean, I have very sensitive, what I call hyperactive skin, a lot of issues autoimmune stuff going on but this one is really good if you have really really sensitive skin it says from for normal to dry skin if you have really really sensitive skin i don't necessarily think you have to be older to use it because sydney sweeney is like their spokes girl she's young and she uses this stuff supposedly so i think like pretty much anybody can use it um but apparently for women like me or like middle-aged this is good for you too. But I think it's like open for like anybody. I don't know about kids, but you know. Directions apply evenly to face AM and PM after cleansing and toning. I when I use mine, I usually use it on my face and my neck and just whatever till it is gone. <laughs> and then that's what that is. That I know. Um, then this I was the first thing I looked at when I opened up the box yesterday. It's from Seraphin Botanicals. I think this was one of the items that I added on. It's um, the Diamantine Beaming Highlighter. And it says, get to know us here. Seraphin Botanicals on TikTok and Instagram. And I figured that if I like it, I will. And then it says, I think I'm going to swatch this somewhere. It's Shade Oyster. Amplify light on your skin with the sophisticated highlighter that imparts the intense glimmer of a liquid and yet has the silky weightlessness of a powder. Talk free, thank goodness. And made with super fine pearlized mica to create a stunning opalescent, opalescent radiance for buildable intensity without looking overdone. Directions, they say to use a highlighter brush Sweep onto cheekbones, temples, brow bones, bridge of nose, cupid's bow, and wherever you want to add glow. That rhymes. 
layer to effortlessly amp up intensity. I like the packaging. Oh, it's cruelty free and vegan. Talc free, no carbons, no phthalates. Okay. And this is the packaging. It's similar to the box. Oyster, wow, it's huge. <laughs> oh! And it has like the film over the mirror. To me, it kind of reminds me of a champagne pop kind of shade. It has like the textured rigid things there with the triangles or diamonds. Diamonds. Here they are. You gotta turn it this way and you can see the diamonds. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Alright, so I'm gonna swatch it. I always like to smell everything and honestly, it kind of smells like fish. And I'm not and I'm not kidding. It does. It kind of smells like fish. Like that. But that's pretty. If you can see it, can you see it? Can you see it? Okay. You can't see it there. I'll try to show you my finger. Can you see it? Can you see it? It kind of smells like fish oil. Fish. Fish. You might not be able to see it. Can you see that? Um, kind of seeing on my finger there. I mean, it does look kind of nice, but it kind of smells like fish. I'll probably give this away to somebody, but I can't do it in a giveaway because I touched it already. It does smell like fish, and I don't know why. And I don't plan on using it again because it smells like fish. It doesn't say there's fish in it. But it smells like fish. Just saying, I don't like it. Alright, so now we're going to go with this one. So I'm not sure what compelled me to buy this, but I was like, let me give it a whirl. I prefer brow gels. And when I do my brows, just saying, but I figured I'll try this for a change. It's from a brand called Lith, which again, I haven't heard from. I never heard of Lith before until now. Lith. I think it's called Lith. L-I-T-H-E. It's the UHD Brow Sculpt Brow Shaping Wax with Sculpting Brush. An easy to use brow sculpting gel that lifts, tames, and sculpts every stubborn hair into place for beautifully shaped eyebrows. Please ensure the cap stays tightly closed when not in use. Okay. At lift, lift, lashes, light lashes, lift. I think it's a lift, but I'm not really sure. Never heard of it before. Oh, it's clear. Okay, well, that's fine. They're from Toronto as opposed to this one that was from China. Laneige is from Canada, distributed in New York, Europe, France, Korea, made in Korea. It says made in Korea. But uh, all right, so this is the thing that this comes with. I'm glad I have all these extra ones too. That's what it comes with. It came right in here. And I opened this up. And okay, I see you. It's like a larger version of the Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade, but this one's clear. This I might put on right now just to show you. Lift like oh UHD brow sculpt clear. It's good for six months. Lift, lift, lift. <laughs> I still don't know. I don't know. I like to smell everything, and there's a reason for it. Because if something smells like fish, we're not putting it back on. I like how they packaged it like this. 
All right, it smells good. It doesn't smell like flowers, but it smells good, you know. It doesn't smell bad. And then, see, it's like a clear jelly. I like, I think I like that so far. It's good for like, on a time where I actually bought clear gel recently, clear, the clear stuff from e.l.f. Because they had a two pack, I think it was at Walmart near my house, like the local Walmart, when I did Walmart Plus delivery. I got a two pack. So we're gonna put this back in. And I'm trying to take a closer look at my brow to see what it looks like. But it's a clear gel, which is okay. I can't complain if it's not the right shade because it's clear. I'm going to try to find this one. I don't, know. I don't like reusable things like this because once I use something, I tend to throw it away like this. And I'm going to put it back in there for now. Are you ready for my close-up? This one's a little... well, not this one. I'm going to try to fix it with this since I have this. This brow looks perfect. It's hard to do it when you can't see. This brow needs to be fixed. Oh. Go in the wrong Do any of these? Well, this comes with the mirror, but it has the thing over it, so I can't see. <laughs> and if I take it, I don't want to take it off because I'm not keeping it. All right, then the next item in here that we're going to look at together is from a brand called Eloise, and it's the Goddess Palette. The packaging here is very pretty. It's from West London, United Kingdom. And it's very pretty. Did I tell you that already? I think I did. Very pretty packaging. I keep seeing things out there. Eloise. And it says, indulge in the divine allure of our goddess, pigment palette. Where every shade embodies ethereal beauty and timeless elegance. I like the sound of that. Nine highly pigmented shades to mesmerize and captivate, exclamation point. Elevate any look. And embrace your inner goddess and divine beauty with this dazzling palette. Store in cool and dark place. Keep out of reach of children. Disclaimer. Oh, schnips. If you experience any irritation, please discontinue all use and consult your doctor. Why? That's kind of scary. This is really pretty, though. I'm probably going to try this today. So there, hmm, I like this blue one. So this one has a mirror too with like the plastic thing over it. Aren't these really pretty though? I like this blue here. Where is it? Over there. This blue with the glitter. That's my, that caught my eye. This one. The prettiest one of them all. We got blues, we got orangey colors, speck stuffy. This one's kind of like a green. There's like green. Okay, I see this. This one's like a dark, this one down here that on my thumb is touching is like a dark greenish with flecks of glitter in it. And then the one above it is lighter with a little bit of green in it. This one here. And then above it, it's like a nude with like a greenish hue. 
I would say. And then this one's like an orange, like a brown, sandy color. And then below that is like a mixture of the green with the other, like this color with that combined. And then this is a dark blue, which is also really, not that one, this one, which is also really pretty. Then this one is a glittery orange with flax. Then this one has a little bit of the blue in it with the greenish glittery one and the orange or whatever color you want to call this. And then this one is all blue and all foils. It's so pretty. I want to scratch it. Like I make, I have stuff on my fingers, like um, medicine. I'm gonna use a brush. Hold up. I'm gonna use a brush. We use brush things. I don't want to. I don't want to touch them, but we're gonna swatch it somehow. So we're gonna swatch this one first. It's called Heavenly Grace. This one. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put it here. Okay, yeah, this should be fun. I can't really see it, but that's like a nice transition shade. Then we have this one. And that one's called Heavenly Grace, by the way. This one here that we just tried. Then I have this one, Empress Elegance. It's very, uh, there's a lot of fallout. Mind you, so you may want to be careful with that. And then that's the next one. Empress Elegance. Then we have Goddess Glow. The foily ones are less with less fallout. Well, now on my arm, it's got a lot of fallout, but like in here, it's less of a mess. Can you see me? There it is. Then I have, so I'm trying to like give you like a good fair shot at what it looks like. All right, so then we have Majestic, which is this one here. Can you see it? I'm not used to using this webcam, so. Majestic, ooh, real life it's very pretty. There. That's majestic and it really is really pretty. And then I have this one, Divine Aura. This one right in the middle, in the middle row in the middle. I mean it's a little hard again, but yeah, it's really pretty. Can you see it? It's this one. We're going farther down my arm. Then I'm not supposed to blow on it, but I don't know which one's right now. We have Regal Radiance. This one right here. Which is also very lovely. I need to smell them. Alright, they don't smell bad. They don't smell like good, but they don't smell bad. 30 minutes of filming. Then we have uh, Transcendent Beauty, this one here. It's very like, it's like a burnt color. You see this one? That's Transcendent Beauty. This will be a very interesting fall look. Then we have Opulent, the dark blue. Hey, and lastly, we have this one here. Luxurious Luster. The really, 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 really pretty blue one. I'm going to put it here only because I don't want to go that far down because I have medicine on my arm. That is really nice. 
If you want to do like a fun winter spooktacular look, this is the palette to play with. But again, keep in mind, you probably get a big mess on your face. So I would recommend doing like, which what I might do is put the eye pad thingies, those like jelly pixie eye under eye things while I do my eye makeup and then do my face around my eyes perhaps or something else if you know any other tricks in the trade but I mean it's nice this is my tissue but I used a brush instead so yeah that's that palette I'm gonna have to bring this to my room and then let me keep my dirty brushes and some clean brushes then so far I like that and I've loved the lineage the brow gel is a little weird, but it's not necessarily their fault because my brows have been, my, my eyes have been really bad lately. I don't know. You still don't know what it is. But I think it's because getting the, I think it's from getting like the medicational creams on my eyes, on my fingers, rubbing my eyes. That would make the most massive sense. But it's very hard to tell. So then the next thing I got in here, I think I picked this out, but I'm not sure. It's from Luna Magic. It's their $9.99 makeup brush. It reminds me, and this is made in China. It's, and I'm trying to say this in the nicest way possible, what I'm about to say. I, by, at first glance, as soon as I saw the stones, I was like, this reminds me of a knockoff of that's on this glam. Because I think she probably came out first. There's like a strand coming out. Or it was too long. It reminds me of like a knockoff of SMS Glam. But I do like the way this looks. I do like it. It's pretty. But it reminds me of a knockoff of SMS Glam's brushes. <laughs> but it's okay, we can all do it. But you know what I mean? It looks like a coffee. But it is really pretty. I'm gonna add this to my makeup collection. My brush collection in just a moment. I'm gonna put this back in here for now though. Keep it. I mean it's pretty. It's like a a rusty reddish pinkish, like a metallic reddish color. It's made in China. And um yeah. Trying to be nice, but it, it, it reminds me of that. Then we have, which I cannot wait to try, and I've been thinking about this all night. Okay, it's from a brand called Transform, which I've never heard of before. Plump it, hyaluronic lip plumper, and. It says, long-term lip plumping, precision tip, quick applicator, 101, up to 101% increase in hyaluronic acid syn synthesis, transformative formulas, no needles or knives, key, additives, key actives and peptides, professional grade, cruelty-free and all skin. I sure hope so. Put spearmint in it, yellow bark, carbon free, quality free, recyclable, pump it. Oh, it's the brand's called Pump It. Pump It. Pump It.com manufactured in the UK. We're going to try this right now. Okay, Pump It. Okay, I see you now. It's called Pump It. Is the brand called Transform or is it Plump It Transform? I don't know. We'll find out later. Looks like this. Looks like it. How many clips does it take to get to the center of this? Oh, um, um, I don't see it yet. This may be my new best friend. Oh, there it is. It does smell like spearmint. It's not my favorite taste, but I don't know. So we saw it before, right? It's very easy to apply.
pump it. Louder! Pump it. Louder! Increases. I'm waiting for my lips to increase. Okay, so now while we wait for our lips to increase, excuse me, I picked this out from Kevin Aquan. It's the Unforgettable Lip Definer. I should have done this first. I might just swatch it. It's in shade Minimal, and it's very long, by the way. And I don't think I've ever tried anything from Kevin Aquan before. Oh, it's good for 24 months. But they do sell their stuff, or his stuff, at my hair salon that I usually go to down the street from my house. And I noticed that that's what they use. Their lip pencil. Designed to match the tone of your lips and help lip color last longer, easily glides on for a reshaped fuller look. Truly unforgettable. Unforgettable, no, no, no. That's why, darling. It's not as long as it looks. Okay. So on one side we have this brushy thing. I don't know what this is for because I'm not a big lip pro because I don't have any lips. It does tingle a little, but it's not as bad as other stuff I've used lately. It's a little bit fuller. I like it so far, although it burns a little, but it's not like as bad as I said. Is it like this color? The brown? See the one on the gem? That brown? Okay. It smells okay. Because of course I have to smell everything. I don't know where to swatch it because I'm just like I have makeup on my hand. I mean medicine on my hand, so I'm we'll swatching on my chest. You can't see it. Can you see that? <laughs> I know. I know that's weird. I don't know how to, I can't do it without a mirror. I'm still not sure why they give you this the brush. Lip definer. I should have done this first and then done the other one. I mean it seems okay, I guess. Maybe I'll try to use it when I can use it later. I mean I guess it's okay. I don't see what it looks like. It's like a raisin color. Can you see this? Here, let me move this over. Can you see? You can see that, right? And then my lips. See how this brow is just like wild? It's a little wild. Alright, so. Alright, so now there's a few more items left. We're not gonna try the mascara because of obvious reasons, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I have used Wonder Beauty before years ago. I think it was through Boxy or Ipsy. Probably, and I loved it back then. And it was, I think it was bigger. I think it was like twice the size, maybe. This looks like a travel size, to be honest. It's in shade Jet Black. Wonder Beauty. Made in Korea. Good for six months. Mile High Club Length and Define Mascara. This is cute. You can just like throw this in your pocket, your bag, anywhere really. You just throw it. <laughs> and oh, I see you. It smells like standard mascara. The wand looks good. It's not too messy. This is my first, my first instinct on it, my first thought years ago was like it wasn't too messy. It applied very nicely, I just can't put it on right now because there's no foam in it. <laughs> and then, but that's the, that's the Mile High Club. I mean, first glance I like it. Then we have something from Pat McGrath. It's 
and I was like admiring this packaging yesterday. Her stuff. It is just so beautiful, so aesthetic. The colors, the designs, everything is just so beautiful. Pat McGrath. And it's the another mascara. Pat McGrath Labs. I've never tried her mascara before. It's my first time too. Pat McGrath Labs Dark Star Mascara in shade X, X, X Stream Black. It's so extreme, they forgot the E. And good for six months. That's like standard what I've been seeing for mascaras usually. Packaging is so pretty. Pink and the black and the gold. I love it. And this is gold, it's a little bit of like pink. Dark Star Mascara Pamograph Labs. Okay, it's mostly good. Just clean that off. I like the wand. Kind of funny. It's a very nice wand. Her smells a little bit nicer, to be honest. It has like a little soft something powder for fragrance to it, which is like a little more than just like the standard mascara. This is really nice. I think this is my new favorite. <laughs> I'm going to add it to my, my little makeup, my um, SMS my makeup bag that I carry with me. So I got two setting sprays. I've never used this particular one, to my knowledge or recollection, from Morphe. I actually stopped using Morphe for a while for mixed reasons, but I was like, they have it. It was a good deal. I'm like, I'll give it a go. It's the gold one. I guess this is gold, bronze. It's Morphe Continuous Prep and Set Mist. So you could use it while you're prepping and after you set your makeup. Or to set your makeup and then when you're prepping your makeup. Continuous Prep and Set Mist Plus. Supercharged with ceramides and antioxidants. I might let me try it now. I may not. Directions. Hold the bottle 8 to 10 inches away from your face. Close eyes and apply the mist all over your face before and after makeup application. It's got some stuff in it that I think I'm allergic to, so I may not use it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give this away. I didn't know it had to put in it. What does it smell like? Oh my god, it smells delicious though. I'm gonna give it away. Oh, what are we seeing today? I don't want to be in. It smells delicious though. And, for a, and then this one, last but not least, is from Makeup Forever. I don't think I've ever used their stuff before, but I've heard about it. This is good for six months, made in France. It's the Mist and Fix. In a spray, this micro fine and refreshing mist delivers. Delivers. 24 hour setting power, 24 hour radiance, 24 hour hydration. Sounds like a win-win to me. Okay. And this is really pretty packaging too. That's kind of sexy. Look at that. Right? It's sexy packaging. Okay. I don't necessarily see anything in this that I should be going to try. So I'm going to try. Okay, mist and fix. Is this for like a before and after too? Or is this an after? I know some sprays are like prep and set. I don't know. <laughs> or prep, so he'll use it for setting too. Like the one from Mac. Are you ready, kids? So this is pretty nice looking. Oh, pretty nice. Makeup forever. 
This webcam is interesting because it's filming in the right direction. This new webcam I got that was recommended from Kylie Dennison. We're going to do it. Oh, it smells like perfume. It smells lovely. It does smell really nice. Woo! It smells nice. That's going to wake you up. Prep and set. <laughs> it says mix, mist, and fix. Thanks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Very honest, straightforward reviews on all this good stuff. If you liked this video, 43 minutes into it. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you can give it to, give it to. If you don't like it, you can go ahead and dislike it. You're entitled to your opinions. And leave me some comments. If you don't know what to put, put an emoji. Or emojis. You can put like a whole huge paragraph of emojis and it'd be cool. And uh, what else? Subscribe to my channel, Alana by the Shore. Share this with your mom, your bro, and everyone you know. I don't have a mom or a bro, but I would share this with everyone else I know. And comment, share, subscribe. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I will see you all again soon. Bye. Oh my God, you're still pissing me off. And me, oh, bye.